Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I had a subscriber ask a question, which I will flip in here for you guys, and he basically is saying, hey, what do you think about neutral grip presses? Neutral grip presses. And I'm going to assume he means when he says presses, because he didn't say chest presses, he means the overhead press. Uh, great question, and uh, he's asking about it because he says they seem to help with my shoulders. I have really rolled shoulders from sitting at a desk all day. I've noticed when I do these, in addition to doing extra rear delt work, it takes away the pain in my shoulders. Um, I'm also scared of losing size in my chest. Is this going to be a problem? So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. Work on skill about my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. Um, all right. I will show some footage later because I actually recorded some of these today. Because this is an exercise I do regularly. I just haven't been recording it for you guys. So I went ahead and got a full workout today. And I'll throw some clips of just this exercise in at the end. Um, for any sort of dumbbell press, you guys know I recommend uh, kind of a, a neutral grip or a 45 degree grip. Even a chest press, I always tell people, don't ever turn your pinkies out. Keep them turned in. So you either need to be a full hammer grip, or which is a neutral grip or a 45 degree grip on chest presses. The same thing applies to the overhead press. It's easier on your shoulders. It's easier on your shoulders. Look how many guys can't do full range of motion when they do dumbbell overhead presses. Pretty common, right? Look at the majority of guys out there. A lot of them using really heavy weight. They're bringing them down to here and stopping. There are guys who are stopping four, five, six, eight inches above their delt. All right, that's not a full range of motion. That's a partial. And they're actually skipping the part of the range of motion that um, works your chest. Skipping some of the range of motion that works certain parts of the shoulder more. They're basically just doing a partial exercise. Why? Because they have their hands turned out like this. And you can't go all the way down without hurting your shoulder. Uh, but it's not the fault of the fact that you're using dumbbells. It's the fact that people are using a variation of the exercise that's unsafe. Bad for the shoulder joint, right? Bad for the shoulder joint. Brittany does these. Uh, Brittany, because she had a desk job for years, she was a CFO, she worked in the business world, um, was on the keyboard all day for years, uh, and it really got her out of shape, and she's kind of glad she got out of that. Um, caused her a lot of shoulder problems. We've had to rehabilitate a lot of those shoulder problems. This is one of the exercises that we do for that. And uh, anyone who's noticed her Instagram lately has noticed, wow, I mean, she, she got pretty good shoulders for you know being a 30-something natty chick. Uh, who's only been training a couple years. Uh, yeah, and that's from this exercise. That's what she does. That is her only shoulder exercise is the neutral grip overhead press with a dumbbell standing. It's the only exercise she does for her shoulders. That's it. And this is someone who's had shoulder issues from exactly this problem, sitting at a desk all day, desk job. Uh, who also is now an artist, a hairstylist, uh, special effects, makeup artist, all that stuff. She does these things, and so she tends to have shoulder issues also from that. So what we do for that is basically this and face pulls. She does face pulls with bands, and she does standing neutral grip overhead presses with dumbbells. Works wonders. And the reason it does that is that it doesn't flare the elbows. The same reason we do this grip for any sort of chest press, and I tell people, and I see it online all the time, I tell all these guys, look, you guys gotta quit doing this stupid stuff. Um, this whole turning the elbows out. You shouldn't be like barbell like this, because even with the barbell, you're trying to grip it in such a way that you can turn your elbows in, right? You don't grip it um, to force yourself to have your elbows out. Uh, every power lifter knows this on the bench press how guys don't get hurt. The same thing applies to dumbbells. Um, and you'll get some guys who are smart enough to figure this out with the chest presses and they'll turn them in but then they get to the dumbbell press and what do they do? They're out here like this. Elbows all the way back. If you have them like this, the neutral grip, it doesn't put that same stress on your rotator cuffs. Uh, the neutral grip is dramatically safer dramatically safer. It is the way to do them. It's the way to do them safely. Uh, and it lets you build your upper chest and everything else with it. It's a more complete exercise because it allows for a fuller range of motion. Uh, allows for more complete upper body development. It's actually a fantastic exercise. And again, anyone who wants to say, oh, it doesn't work for shoulders. Um, again, look at Brittany's photos up lately. 
she's doing pretty decent. They've done well for hers. And they do well for most people who do them and get decently strong at them. Yeah, you can't ego lift as much. You can't ego lift as much as you can when you do those partial reps and you skip the bottom for people who turn them out. But I would ask people, you want to ego lift or do you want strong, healthy shoulders that aren't injured? Real simple choice. Now, he also asked something else. He asked, hey, you know, is my chest going to shrink from doing any of this? No, uh, your chest should grow from this. Uh, same thing, I put up my Instagram weigh-in and people were like, wow, your chest is sticking way out in that uh, video of you weighing in because I'm down 18 pounds now. All I do is overhead pressing for my chest. I haven't done a dip probably since December. I don't do any chest presses. I do all overhead work and you know what? Anytime I take something out like the dumbbell overhead press with the neutral grip when I take it out of the rotation, if I don't do it for several weeks and I add it back in, my entire pecs are sore the next day. Give thumbs. The muscle, when you add it in newly to uh, your routine, when you haven't done it for a while, it usually causes soreness in the muscles that it's working. Uh, it gives me doms in my triceps, gives me doms in my upper chest, my whole chest up through here. So it's clearly a good chest exercise. It works well. Uh, and for those who don't understand what I'm talking about, again, I will flip the clips in at the end. But to also answer this person's question, uh, it, these exercises done this way are safer for your shoulders. They'll let you develop your chest just fine. They'll let you develop your shoulders just fine. But you'll do so without risking your rotator cuffs and injuring yourself. It's absolutely the way to go. So uh, I'm really glad that you asked the question uh, because this is an exercise I wanted to cover more in the future for people um, that I've been doing. I just haven't talked about much. And uh, so I hope it's been informative. I hope I answered your question. And I will talk to you guys next time. And here's some training footage of me performing now.